What's up, you nerds? Uh, today we're going to be showing you how to make a Pal World dedicated server from scratch with the uh, with the non Steam Steam version. <laughs> First thing we're going to do is want to open up a tab. I want to hit up Repack Games. If available, Kiwi is the fastest. If not, Go Files mighty fast as well. So we are going to download this. And for just sake of showing, I'm just going to do the zip myself. So it would normally be in here, you'd open this, you'd go into your C program file, Steam, Steam apps, common, make a new folder called Palward, and you're just going to drag all of this into there. Quite simple. Once that extracts, we're going to go on to the next step, which involves you googling Steam CMD. You're going to install Steam CMD. So once this downloads, you're going to want to make a separate folder inside of your PAL world. Name it Steam CMD. We're going to take that little exe from that zip we just grabbed and throw it inside that folder. Once that's inside here, we're going to run as admin. part will basically vary based on your internet connection. Now the next thing we're going to do is log in anonymous. It's going to log us in as just a no name on here. Okay, now the next one's mildly important. We're going to do app underscore update 239-4010 space validate. Now, this will probably take some time. I probably will end up speeding this up. But what this is currently doing is this is downloading the Palo Alto dedicated server as if you owned the game on Steam. But because it's anonymous, you don't have to own the game. Okay, now that that's done an eternity later, we gotta verify it real quick. 
shouldn't take too long for the verification at least. Okay, so now that that's done, in our install folder, where we drag and drop the game, we have our Steam CMD folder. So we basically have a separate unlogged in version of Steam in here. So we're gonna go inside the Steam apps, common, and in here you're gonna see now we have PAL server. We're gonna go into here. This is where stuff is a little bit tricky. You have to launch it one time. allow all network it asked for now this does technically mean it is up now we have to close it now it's populated the settings this is in default pal world settings this may seem a little too much for you right away off the bat it's really quite simple when you actually look at it the hardest part is finding the word throughout here so for example I kind of like it to be daytime a little bit longer. I find the dark a little too dark. So we're going to turn that down half as the value 1. We're going to put it at 0.5. I also don't like nut night that much. So we're going to double that speed so it goes by twice as fast. It's going to give us ourself a 5% experience boost. Going to make the capture rate 10 minimum. Just gives you a little bit better chance to actually capture something. We're going to put the spawn rate to 3. That's just max spawn rate. player stomach decrease rate we're going to turn that to 0.5 these are all just suggestions you can edit it to your liking of course Now we're going to leave it right here for one second and we're going to move on to a second step, mid step. So we're going to open up our browser again. We're going to open up a new tab. We're going to search for Radmin VPN. Download this. You're going to run and install this. Now you'll have Radmin. You're going to click Network. I'm going to have to turn it on first. This is where you're going to enter your network name. So I'm just going to call it Pal World Tut. We're just going to put the password as four zeros, which is obviously whatever you want it to be. <laughs> then we're going to click create. A password must be six characters. We're going to put six zeros. Now, a lot of you have been having issues where you can't get the port open. This basically takes away the need to do the port. This is the equivalency of us doing like a system link cable. So this is going to be the IP you're going to be connecting into. This is the one that's on the host computer, whoever is doing the actual hosting of it. Uh, not recommended to run host computer and one you play on. It's better to have someone do it on like a secondary machine. They can just leave up 24-7. Minimum specs it's basically asking for are 4 core and 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, they recommend 16 gigs of RAM for heavy lobbies with up to 32 players. So now we're connected into this. Also, this is not your actual IP. This is a VPN, so it gives everyone within your group its own little IP within that subnet. So it's the equivalency of all these people being plugged into the same router. Now, if we click PAL World Tut, we launch PAL Server. 
We take this. Actually, I made an oopsie. We have to close PAL server, go back into edit. That number we just had there, we're going to take this number. We're going to put that into the public IP. We're going to have the server description. And then we're going to give the server a name. You can set max players right here. Co-op, I'm not 100% sure what it does just yet. I thought it was for the uh, clans, but it appears to be not. We're going to go file save. Then we're going to open PAL server. We're going to go back out of Steamworks. We're going to open PAL world. Enter the IP you just put there at the bottom. And you want a semicolon 8211. Click connect. And as you see, it loads you in immediately. So yeah, once you're in, you can take a little look at the server by pressing escape. Shows you your players. There's one person in here, one out of 32. Gives you your jitter, your server FPS. And for your host, this is your rendering time. So yeah, once you want someone else to join it, you get them to download Radmin. You give them the credentials you made for this. They join Radmin. And that can be the only VPN active, as basically is going on in this server. So you join Radmin, everyone joins in, they do the same thing. They copy the IP address, not from what theirs has, but from what the host has put up top here. So you'll be giving them this number off of yours. And then they put that in, the semicolons, 8211. Press connect, and you guys are good to go. I just wanted to share this with you guys because this took me so many hours to get figured out, but it does appear to work on any version, both the official Steam and the pirate version. So I hope you guys have a, uh, a great rest of your week, and this is MW Mods out.